What is going on, guys? Let's look at these brand new dragons from Games Workshop for Age of Sigmar. And I'm going to tell you how to save about $170. And I'll give you a link to that here in a second. So if you want this dragon for $35 instead of $200, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> but anyway, they just showed off these new dragons today and they do look great. Uh, these are really, really cool sculpts for dragons. It's also interesting to bring like named dragons into Age of Sigmar that aren't ridden by anything. And I do likely think these will be probably like similar to Kragnos. Maybe it says it in the articles. I didn't read it. I see Kragnos's name here. But I think these will be uh, basically alliable into all the order forces i don't think these are going to be stormcast only if it does say they're stormcast only let me know in the comments below and while you're down there hit like and subscribe uh the one we got here this cheeky smiling sneaky boy is i believe the wizard dragon he's some sort of spellcaster of some kind uh substantial magical abilities that'll be cool uh sometimes characters when they get their own unique spell they could be very powerful, so it's going to really rely on, like, how good his spell is. If he can fight, plus he brings a powerful, unique ability or spell, something like a Bellicor, uh, you know, you could see him a lot. And he, I mean, it's really a great-looking model. He's got a little bit of the Stormcast armor, just so he fits in on the battlefield a bit. I love his smile. Really a good-looking model. And then here you got this Beast Boy, uh, this Red Dragon got some damage on him or scar tissue from maybe getting blasted by some chaos energy or something and this is going to be your straight up beat stick fighter dragon he is going to fly across the battlefield and he's a violent creature <laughs> wrath and revenge so he's like your bloodthirster dragon ready to just fly over probably breathe some fire or something and then chomp on the enemies and beat them up in hand and combat uh, both of these, I think, you know, potentially you're going to have incredible rules. There'll probably be a lot of points. They're going to look so good on the battlefield. And one thing to save a ton of money is, although these are great looking dragons, and that by all means, if you want one, buy one. I would, you know, I'm tempted. Maybe I do want one. But also, there's a lot of companies, just like the Sons of Behemoth, that make dragons. Dragons have been around for a long time. And a lot of companies make really big dragons. So let me know down below. Do you think, first of all, is this the first $200 kit from Games Workshop? Looks like with this wing here, it's going to be actually taller probably than a Mega Gargant. And the Mega Gargant, I believe, is at $190 currently. I think this brand new gigantic dragon kit that's going to make two different dragons uh, could come in at $200. And if it comes in at 200 I could likely see the Sons of Behemoth Mega Gargant getting a price increase to 200 during the next increase of uh, prices. Let's see. Uh, Crondi's great hope that in alliance with the Stormcast Eternals, his kin once more rise to greatness. Okay, so maybe they're just Stormcast. I don't know. Let me know if you have the inside scoop. Are these guys going to be allies to all order? Or are they just going to be for Stormcast? I actually have a bit of Stormcast. I have a Dominion box set. I really like low model point or low model count armies now for Age of Sigmar. I mean, the Sons of Behemoth are just so fun to play that once you go into a low model count army, it's very hard to want to paint or build a swarm or a horde of any kind. So heck, if I could field both of these guys plus a Star Drake and maybe a couple units of Evocators on Draca lines. For 2,000 points, I'm all in. I'd love to do that. But, like I said, check out this big boy. Coming in, there's a link in the pinned comment and description below. This is the Storm or Steamforge game Epic Encounter Layer of the Red Dragon. This thing's going to cost you about 40 or 50 bucks at your local game store. And if your local game store doesn't carry these, go ahead, use the link below, pick it up on eBay for $35. Now, here you can see the size, almost a 12 inch wingspan, standing about four and a half inches tall. 
So he's not. His body's gonna be. I don't know how big. I mean, that's obviously more than four and a half inches. It's probably like eight or nine. But he's a big, chunky dragon. Let's see him from the side here. Now, it's very easy to take these models, ramp them up, build up their base, put a whole bunch of cork below, make them look way taller than they are. And he's a really good looking dragon, I think. I think this dragon has a great sculpt, lots of great detail. He's gonna take paint very well. And I think most people are gonna be very happy with him at $35. We just have to find out what the base size is and then, you know, build up his base, make him taller. Also, if you watch my Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter uh, unboxing, I got a huge dragon in there. I'm not sure which one it was on the <laughs> Kickstarter, but I'm sure that'll be available on ReaperMiniatures.com or if your local store is going to carry the Reaper Black line. You'll be able to get some big Reaper dragons. I believe it's WizKids or whatever makes those giant dragons. I actually have one. I got on clearance for like 17 bucks. I think they're normally like 80 or 90 and they're huge. So I'm super excited because if these are in the Stormcast Codex or Battle Tome, if they're good, at least one of the two is good. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing a small model count, big boy Stormcast army with some giant dragons. And like I said, I'm gonna save the money and I'm gonna pick up either one of these if I need two dragons, or I'll just use my Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter dragon that I got. And yeah, there you go. Hopefully you think this dragon looks as cool as I do. I have the Steam Forged Frost Giant. He's just a teeny bit smaller than the Mega Gargant, and he's like 40 bucks instead of 190. So you do the math, 40 versus 200, I'll take 40 all day, I'm not playing in Games Workshop events. I'm not playing at their stores, so I don't need to worry about using their models necessarily, just as long as I can get my models from my local game store where I would like to support. But like I said, if you can't, link in the description below, pick yourself up this bad boy. I almost at this price just wanna get them because that's a good deal, 32% off. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a solid deal. <laughs> I'm tempted to just pull the trigger on this guy because I already have one big dragon and it looks like you got two here. So maybe I want to field both in my army, which could be fun, but we don't know the points of the rules yet. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't uh, subscribe yet, hit the subscribe button. We do all kinds of fun videos over here. Uh, currently shipping out the Kickstarter. Got another Kickstarter planned for next year. Hopefully you stick around, enjoy your time here. Happy to chat with you in the comments below. Talk to you soon.